What's up, everyone? Welcome to Film Spot, and today we will be talking about the best upcoming movies. Don Cheadle's Armor Wars TV show is getting retooled as an MCU film due to creative changes. While most of Marvel Studios' planned Disney Plus shows have come to pass, Armor Wars has been stuck in development for some time. Despite being announced in 2020, it wasn't until 2022 that updates began to emerge about James Rhodes' spin-off show. While Terrence Howard brought Rhodes to life in 2008's Iron Man, Cheadle replaced him as War Machine in Iron Man 2 and has continued to appear in multiple MCU projects. Armor Wars follows War Machine in the aftermath of Phase 3, which included the death of his best friend Tony Stark. The Disney Plus drama was confirmed to take place after the events of Secret Invasion, where Cheadle is next set to appear as the Marvel hero. While Marvel Studios unveiled their slates for Phases 5 and 6 at San Diego Comic-Con, Armor Wars wasn't featured in either one, despite Disney being committed to producing the series. According to Cheadle in an interview earlier this month, one of the main Armor Wars stories would be about Tony Stark's tech getting out, and it would be up to Rhodey to prevent the wrong people from getting a hold of it. However, Armor Wars had a massive shakeup at Marvel Studios, with The Hollywood Reporter revealing that it is being retooled as a feature film. The studio was committed to getting the story told the right way, and it led to them realizing that a movie would be a better option as opposed to a six-episode series. Head writer Yasir Lester is still attached and will pen the screenplay for the movie. Production was being eyed for 2023, but has now been delayed due to this latest development. Now You See Me 3 taps Venom and Uncharted director Ruben Fleischer to take on the sequel for Lionsgate. Fleischer first rose to prominence with the surprise success of the horror comedy Zombieland. He also directed the 2021 sequel Zombieland Double Tap. Fleischer has even joked about making a Zombieland 3. From there, he was allowed to make projects with increasingly bigger scope and budget, leading to Venom, which grossed $850 million globally, and Uncharted, which grossed over $400 million globally earlier this year. The Now You See Me series follows a group of magicians known as the Four Horsemen who pull off elaborate heists. It stars Jesse Eisenberg, Mark Ruffalo, Woody Harrelson, Dave Franco, Morgan Freeman, and Michael Caine, alongside Lizzie Kaplan and Isla Fisher, who have appeared in one film each. Although Now You See Me 3 was announced back in 2016, there haven't been many updates on the project since 2020, when Now You See Me 2 and Crazy Rich Asians director John M. Chu was still attached. The film has also gone through several writers, with the last draft having been worked on by American Hustle and Top Gun Maverick scribe Eric Warren Singer. Now Deadline reports that Fleischer has been tapped to direct the next Now You See Me installment. Announced alongside it is the news that Pride and Prejudice and Zombies writer Seth Graham Smith will tackle the next draft of the screenplay, with Fleischer overseeing it. The director responded to the announcement with great enthusiasm. Avengers Secret Wars officially has a writer, with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness's Michael Waldron tapped to write the script. Marvel Studios revealed most of the Multiverse Saga slate at San Diego Comic-Con a few months ago, and this included confirming that Avengers Secret Wars was the new endgame. The sixth Avengers movie, coming out in late 2025, will conclude Phase 6 and the Multiverse Saga. The news came without any information on who would be involved with the film creatively, or in regard to which Marvel Cinematic Universe characters will appear to battle Jonathan Majors Kang in the Multiverse event film. Development of the upcoming Avengers movie is moving ahead at full steam. Avengers The Kang Dynasty is so far a step ahead, with Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings' Destin Daniel Cretton hired to direct, and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania's Jeff Loveness hired to write, leaving audiences to wonder who would write and direct Avengers Secret Wars. There has been plenty of speculation about who will take on both positions, with directors like Ryan Coogler and Peyton Reed often speculated as potential candidates. According to a new report from Deadline, Marvel Studios has hired Michael Waldron to write Avengers Secret Wars. He most recently wrote Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but he was the head writer on Loki Season 1 before that. The report notes that several writers met with Marvel Studios over the last month, but Waldron was viewed as the frontrunner due to how much trust the studio has in him. It is expected that Jeff Loveness and Michael Waldron will be in steady communication as they write Avengers The King Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. 
Disney and 20th Century officially announced the fourth Planet of the Apes movie, titled Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, and shared an early first look. 20th Century Fox rebooted the original sci-fi franchise back in 2011, with Rupert Wyatt's Rise of the Planet of the Apes. While Matt Reeves took over directing duties for the two sequels, all three films revolved around Andy Serkis' Caesar. The Planet of the Apes movies became incredibly successful, and Serkis earned wide acclaim for his performance and motion capture work. The franchise's success fueled Disney's decision to begin developing another installment after acquiring 20th Century Studios. The Maze Runner trilogy director Wes Ball has been busy developing Planet of the Apes 4 for the studios for the last few years. The project is expected to launch a new trilogy for Disney and 20th Century set in the same continuity as the recent Planet of the Apes reboot. Throughout the sequel's development, plot details have been kept mostly under wraps, other than it would pick up after War for the Planet of the Apes ending and Caesar's death. Planet of the Apes 4 eventually cast Owen Teague as the movie's new lead ape. Now, 20th Century officially revealed the title of the new movie is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, and shared an early piece of concept art of the futuristic movie. The art confirms that the movie takes place many years after War for the Planet of the Apes in the franchise timeline. The news also included the casting announcement for The Witcher star Freya Allen and The Orville's Peter Macon. No official release date has been announced for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, and it is not confirmed that the new movie is coming sometime in 2024 after production begins next month. The spin-off sequel, The Nun 2, will officially mark the return of Thaisa Farmiga as Sister Irene to the long-running horror universe. 2018's The Nun became the second spin-off in the popular Conjuring franchise, exploring the origins of Bonnie Aaron's demon, Valak. Farmiga plays Sister Irene, a nun in her novitiate who encounters Valak and ultimately banishes it. The Nun's initial appeal resulted in the most successful Conjuring-verse film at the global box office, prompting the inevitable sequel. Since Valak appears in the mainline Conjuring films set decades after The Nun, it means that Sister Irene fails to expel the demon forever, a story element that The Nun 2 will explore in greater detail. The sequel is reportedly set four years after The Nun, and will follow Sister Irene's renewed efforts to dispel the returning Valak, this time in France. Until now, the Nun 2 story details indicating Farmiga's return were only speculative thanks to a casting call, but recent developments seem to confirm her role. The Nun 2 will officially feature the return of the first film's protagonist, Farmiga's sister Irene, as she attempts to stop Valak once more. Deadline breaks the news of Farmiga's casting. Casting notices detailing the sequel's plot synopsis implied the actor's appearance, but no official announcement confirmed her involvement. Harrison Ford reportedly is in consideration to join Marvel's Thunderbolts, possibly as part of a Thunderbolt Ross recast. There has long been an expectation that the Marvel Cinematic Universe would eventually introduce a team of villains. Marvel Studios finally confirmed their intentions at San Diego Comic-Con 2022 by announcing a Thunderbolts movie. The theorization about the team's debut has hovered over the MCU for years, thanks to the re-emergence of William Hurt as General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross in Phase 3. However, Hurt's passing earlier this year made it seem as though General Ross would not be seen again. The official announcement of the Thunderbolts movie team at D23 2022 seemingly backed this up. There was no mention of Thaddeus Ross having a role in the movie or Marvel's intention to recast the role. Instead, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige unveiled an ensemble cast that includes Florence Pugh as Yelena Belova, Sebastian Stan as Bucky Barnes, David Harbour as Red Guardian, Hannah John Kamen as Ghost, Olga Kurilenko as Taskmaster, Wyatt Russell as U.S. Agent, and Julia Louis-Dreyfus as Contessa Valentina Allegra de la Fontaine. With director Jake Schreier attached and a summer 2024 release date announced, it seems as though this was the main Thunderbolts roster. There is now a rumor that Harrison Ford could join Thunderbolts cast as General Ross. Former Variety and Collider reporter Jeff Snyder revealed the information on his podcast, The Hot Mike. According to Snyder, Ford is or was being considered by Marvel to take over Hurt's role as General Ross in Thunderbolts. He even said that his source indicated it was a done deal before D23, but that Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy stepped in to block the announcement to keep Ford's spotlight on Indiana Jones 5 instead of joining the MCU. Ford's Thunderbolts casting is still theoretical at this point, but it would be a huge win for the MCU Phase 5 movie if it happens. 
Ford is one of Hollywood's biggest stars, thanks to his work in major franchises like Indiana Jones and Star Wars. But he has never done a superhero movie. He would become Thunderbolt's most well-known cast member and could help the anti-hero team movie draw in a big crowd in July 2024. It would also continue Ford's great relationship with Disney. Another plus of the news of Ford possibly joining Thunderbolts is the indication that General Ross, and Red Hulk as a result, is still part of Marvel's plan for the movie. The original roster announcement drew criticism because most of the members were just super soldiers. General Ross is a former soldier, but him finally becoming Red Hulk in the MCU would pay off over a decade of storytelling potential for Marvel. Now it just remains to be seen if Ford actually joins Thunderbolts and the MCU. Scream 6 star Melissa Barrera has revealed where the new film stands on the Scream franchise timeline. Barrera, who had her breakout role in the 2018 stars drama Vita before going on to roles in In the Heights and Keep Breathing, was the star of 2022's Scream, the fourth sequel to the 1996 meta slasher classic Scream. She plays Sam Carpenter, a young woman who returns to her hometown of Woodsboro when her sister Tara is attacked by Ghostface, bringing her into the orbit of previous survivors Sidney Prescott, Gal Weathers, and Dewey Riley. Scream was a box office success, so an as-yet-untitled sequel was greenlit shortly afterward. Scream 6, which has already wrapped production, is due in theaters on March 31, 2023. The film will follow the surviving characters to New York City, where they will be surrounded by a new cast of victims and potential suspects. This week, Deadline released a 20 Questions interview with Barrera on their Deadline podcast, hosted by Antonia Blith. During the conversation, she was asked at what point Scream 6 picks up after the events of Scream. The actress revealed that the film takes place more or less directly after the previous film, with no significant time jump, and that the year in between the release of the two films is the amount of time that has passed in Scream Time. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.